How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this Poolan uh, branded uh, riding lawnmower. And uh, the problem the previous owner is saying it uh, has is it burns oil. So let's take a look at it and see if we can't figure it out. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for joining me on my channel. Uh, if you like small engine repair stuff, uh, repair videos in general, this is the kind of stuff that I do on my channel. I post a video uh, each and every week. So uh, if you're interested, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel. Today's project is a uh, mower that I bought off my scrap guy. I got a pretty decent deal, 50 bucks, which is pretty much scrap price on this thing. It runs. It drives the pto engages the blades spin it cuts grass the previous owner is getting rid of it because he says it burns oil so my initial two thoughts are um, if it's burning oil it could be a head gasket uh, the other thought is, is uh, potentially uh, just by looking at it and more likely the cause is from what I can see, this is kind of where the oil is concentrated here at the front end. And sometimes these valve cover gaskets uh, stop sealing. And guess what's right below it? The muffler and the exhaust. So uh, sometimes you get oil dripping down off of the uh, valve cover uh, area and uh, drips onto the muffler. And then it burns a little bit of oil and it smokes and it smells and then people kind of get worried about that and says, oh, well, it's burning oil. So anyways, that's my first thought on this thing. What I'm going to do is uh, check the oil level first. And uh, hard to make out on the video, but oh, there it is. It, it's pretty dark and it doesn't look to be overfilled or anything. So everything looks good there. It doesn't, uh, it's not low on oil. If we take a look on this side, it's kind of even worse. The the sludge and oil build up there. So my first thought process here is what I'm going to do is take a uh, power washer to this thing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and power wash it. I'm going to run it. It looks really bad down here too. I'm going to run it after I've power washed it and kind of see if I can uh, locate where the oil is leaking from. Uh, I do see, you know, it is kind of dirty and grungy back here as well, which it wouldn't be from the valve cover area, but it's not nearly as bad as up, up front. Uh, I'm gonna also maybe take this uh, I'm gonna blast this first, but I'm gonna take this top cover off and see if there's any obvious signs of uh, leakage anywhere as well. All right, so I took the hood off, and as you can see, there is uh, a better view of it here. I mean, it just caked, caked on grease and dust and grass clippings and all that sort of stuff kind of caked together there. So I'm gonna just, uh, I got my, a little portable pressure washer all hooked up here. I'm gonna keep the uh, spark plug hooked up, keep everything hooked up, just kind of give it a quick blast here.
All right, so looks much better now. Hopefully I didn't uh, douse the uh, carburetor or the, or the ignition system there, but uh, as you can see, definitely got the majority of the oil off of here. So I'm probably just gonna blow it off with my uh, leaf blower, try and get as much of this moisture off as possible, fire it up here, and uh, we'll see if we can't figure out where this leak is coming from. All right, so I'm gonna fire this thing up now. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna let it run, uh, the camera run for the entire time that it might take to get this thing to leak. Um, I might actually spin this around because my driveway does kind of slope down like this a little bit, which uh, if there's any oil in this area, there's usually a little bit of oil, um, it will actually, if, if it's slanted this way, then the oil is gonna actually go away from the seal so I think what I'm gonna do is spin it around and put the low side uh, the, f the, f the front of the mower down at the lower side of the driveway and uh, and we're gonna uh, you know let all the oil kind of run to where this this gasket where I think it's leaking from so uh, you'll also be able to see and see it running uh, I have seen it running. It didn't blow a lot of smoke like it was a head gasket. So this is kind of why I'm concentrating more on this area. But um, anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's do that. All right, so I got it switched around here. It runs really nice actually. I just brought it too far up and it went into choke, so... Alright, so I ran it for about 10 minutes. Uh, as you can see, it, I've broken it down a little bit more. Uh, I didn't see any real leaks out of here yet, but that's... I mean, I've only run it for 10 minutes, so a leak that was that bad uh, you know, it might take half an hour, an hour to manifest itself after I've cleaned it all up. To uh, get this top cover off though, uh, it's fairly simple. They've got three eighths bolts. Uh, there's two on the back and two on the front side of this cover. And then it just pops right up and off and off the machine. So once I took that off, as you can see, uh, this oil residue uh, and build up actually goes uh, back a little bit further than just from the front side of the engine. So I, I, I still believe that probably the seal here is probably compromised, but I also believe that there's something else going on here uh, just because uh, of all of the oily residue this far back. Now, head gasket would be right in here right in between the head which is here i believe uh, or does the head go a little bit further back on this one no i see the gasket right there you can see it so the head gasket would be right and right in this area so i don't believe it's you know leaking from the head gasket and then spewing up and onto this ignition coil i mean there's oil residue all over this ignition coil so it's got to be coming probably from somewhere else as well now if i look at a couple of the areas or sources where maybe it can be leaking from is uh, one being the dipstick so take a look on the dipstick filler tube here on the back side of it I know the lighting is not that great. I apologize, I'm out working outside. But look at all that, all that crap in here. Okay, so definitely the oil dipstick, maybe the seal on it or someone didn't tighten it properly one time and it just pissed oil out of the dipstick so i'm going to take that off and clean that off so that could be one possible cause it wouldn't maybe 
probably you know explain it all over the ignition coil here like that's quite a bit of junk so another possible culprit which I believe is probably the case is this breather crankcase breather system PCV system uh, positive I think it stands for positive crankcase ventilation system so if pressure builds up inside the crankcase of the engine down in here then that pressure will actually evacuate itself through this system and it actually goes into the intake of the carburetor here and typically it's just you know mostly air pressure sometimes you get a little bit of uh, oil residue especially if you overfill it so that's certainly a possibility if the last or previous owner overfilled this thing uh, it would piss out of this tube here but then typically goes into the intake and mixes in with the air and fuel and then I'll, if it's just a fine mist it will it will uh, burn that up but in this case it does look substantially dirty and wet in and around this area so I'm going to uh, probably have to try and take this apart and see you know if there's any reason or that obvious reason that I can see that this system is is uh, is leaking or not doing its job properly or whatever the case may be so I guess the other option could be uh, an oil seal so up and underneath the uh, flywheel here you have the crankshaft right so the crankshaft uh, comes up through the center of this flywheel so up and underneath this flywheel here there will be a crankshaft seal an upper crankshaft seal uh, and if that is leaking uh, quite possibly that could you know explain all of this uh, oil kind of all over the flywheel all around the flywheel so I would say that that's probably an, an option to you now to get at that seal you have to take all this flywheel off and uh, to get to the top of the crankshaft so anyways that's where we're going with it all right so what I've done now is uh, I've cleaned up all of this uh, area right here's the breather tube it, uh, it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape it feels nice and pliable uh, where that tube comes in you can see right at the end of my fingertip right there it, it looks a little bit lighter color uh, there I think there was some oily watery residue that's why it's kind of like a milky color it's hard to tell on the camera but um, coming f out of this tube so that potentially could be a bit of an issue um, but anyways I've cleaned up uh, the ignition coil cleaned up where the dipstick kind of was and uh, cleaned up all around the flywheel all the way around so, all right so I took it uh, one step further here uh, I took off the uh, flywheel and uh, just to try and get a good look underneath here I did clean up uh, in and around the seal a little bit um, but I, I, I'm not sure 100% that it's the uh, oil seal uh, or the crankcase breather assembly here that's causing all of this massive oil slash dust and debris all right build up so what I'm gonna have to do is just power wash all of this I'm gonna get it as clean as I possibly can and I'll have to put it all back together and run it uh, for you know a few hours hopefully that will be enough to kind of have the leak rear its ugly head and uh, we'll either be replacing an oil seal uh, or 
crankcase breather or valve cover gasket or combination of all three I don't know so anyways that's where we're at with it all right so what we've done is uh, ran this thing for about an hour I cut my grass with it and uh, let it just sit and run at uh, you know medium throttle for about an hour and uh, as you can see after taking everything back apart it is all just still nice and clean there is no oil not even any oil really and i see pooling or dripping from the valve cover so um i think what this is is just a matter of somebody not putting this oil uh, dipstick on back nice and tight or running it with the dipstick like even out of it or something like that because um, it was so caked with oil right in here and then when you put the the flywheel and then the uh, the the fan on top of that and then there's a shroud on top of that any oil that's coming down and in this area is getting whipped around with the airflow uh, that's created then the, the uh, sort of cyclone effect for the cooling of the uh, cylinder here so anyways uh, I don't see any other issues so we're gonna button this thing back up and uh, we're gonna sell it the way it is so hopefully this was informative guys and uh, if it was go ahead and smash the like button and if you're not a subscriber consider doing so it really helps me out on the channel until our next project take care